Happy Halloween, guys. Today we're going to be taking a look, since it is Halloween, it's only right that we take a look at the NECA Cult Classics Halloween Evolution of Evil 2. Alright guys, so this is a set that I, I picked up loose at Frank and Sons um, a few weeks ago. And if you guys don't know, uh, the NECA Michael Myers figures are not easy to come by anymore and they are really expensive. I mean, you can probably get one loose, you know, maybe $50 to $100 and if you get this set right here, maybe $150. I mean, this set I know goes for over $100 in package, maybe $200 depending on the seller. But, you know, I, I hope NECA gets the licensing again for Michael Myers, but it's I've never owned a NECA Michael Myers figure. I own the remake Rob Zombie ones from NECA, but I've never owned an actual like classic NECA Michael Myers figure. I've owned a McFarlane one, but never got to own one of these. So, we're going to take a close look at everything that comes into this set here. set you get a tombstone that is Judith Myers it says our beloved daughter Judith Myers born November 10th 1947 died October 31st on Halloween 1965 so it's a really cool just little plastic tombstone which is nice you can see all this is sculpted but very very cool um, so you get the tombstone you also get a pumpkin now I got it loose this, this actually didn't include the pumpkin, but I saw the pumpkin uh, sent in, in the little collection that the guy had, and I was like, you know what, I think this guy comes with a pumpkin. Unfortunately, the one that comes with the set actually lights up. This one doesn't, so I was kind of bummed out that, you know, this wasn't the light-up one, but it's still cool. It's still a cool little pumpkin to have. You can see the uh, detailing on it. It's very, very nice. It's, you know, this is actually hollow inside. So, but I was trying to see, maybe this is a light-up function, but there's no bulb inside, and again, there's nowhere to like put the batteries or anything. I mean, who knows if this even is from NECA. But um, yeah, it's really cool to get this uh, jack o lantern So we got this right here. So both Michael come with these knives right here. See these kitchen knives. Uh, the younger Michael has a smaller one a little bit. And then the uh, older Michael has a more bloodier one. So we'll take a look at um, Michael, the older Michael's one right here. So you can see the blood. It's very, very dark red. A little bit of black into it. And it is a bit sharp. So we got this one right here. And then you also have this little one right there. So this one doesn't have as much blood, but you can see little spots on there. But they are kind of, it looks like they are a little bit different in size and maybe not. Oh, they look different. Yeah, they're a little bit different in size. So you have the knives right there. So first off, we're going to take a look at young Michael. So as seen in the first Halloween movie, he does come with his mask right here. You can lift it over his head and you got kind of like that shocked look that he has in the movie when his parents come home and they take off the mask. The mask is right here. It's got a little like a stretchy string and then you have the clown mask which is very nice, the big nose. Looks very, very cool. So you get that right there, place it over his head, and then you have uh, Michael's face right here, and you got the little clown outfit. This little fluffy part here is like a soft rubber material. And the, this is very limited in articulation. If you guys know, a lot of the older NECA figures um, are very limited. He has like a ball joint in the arms. They go in and out, forward and back, and then he's got um, a little swivel right here in the elbow. No bend at the elbow. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just very limited articulation. I don't like to mess with the articulation especially in the older McFarlane figures because, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, NECA figures because they tend to break. Uh, he's got rotation at the head. looks like it's on a ball joint. It goes up and down. You can rotate it. No waist rotation. Nothing in the lower legs. Uh, the foot just have a little bit of a rotation on them. He's got peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Shoes look really cool. The outfit looks really nice. It's almost like a, uh, it's almost like a metallic kind of color. And he's got a little bit of like dirt on there. But I love the different colors on this guy. It's a very, very cool little figure to have. So here is um, young Michael. And now here we go. We have Michael Myers in his prime, the older Michael Myers. And the mask is very cool because the eyes are kind of sunken in. So it actually looks like he's wearing a mask. And you have the uh, the hair. The sculpting on the hair looks pretty good. You have the, the little seam right there on the mask. So where he takes it off and puts it on. So that's a very nice little touch. You can see it right there. You got to kind of put the head forward. Um, but the head sculpt looks good. 
I do like it, you know, it does, you know, resemble Michael Myers. The eyes, I think, look awesome. Um, you got the outfit right here. It's kind of open right there in the collar. You can see it's a little bit of the neck and the outfit looks pretty good. I mean, it's just, it's like that metallic, I mean, I'm sorry, the mechanic kind of outfit. So the stitching and the uh, wrinkles and everything, the sculpting look really, really good. And you have his boots right there at the bottom and he does have pebbles. Again, this guy is going to be very limited in articulation. He's got... I want to say he has rotation at the waist, maybe not. I don't want to mess with it too much. But the arms do go forward and back, in and out. He's got a swivel right there in the elbow, and the hand can rotate. That's about it. But um, very, very cool. Again, the detailing on the outfit looks very nice. Got a little bit of dirt right there on the collars, and or I should say like at the uh, lower part of the sleeves. But you can slide the knife in, and he holds it very good right there. Uh, as far as the lower leg articulation, there's nothing in the legs but the feet can rotate and that's about it. But such a nice figure. So here's a size comparison with the NECA Jason from the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. So you can see he is in scale. Michael does, uh, little, he is a little bit taller than Jason. And there you have it guys, there's my review. Today we're taking a look at the NECA Cult Classics Evolution of Halloween 2-Pack. This isn't the right jack o lantern that comes with the figure. So if you do, do buy the set, just know that the, if you buy it loose, just know that the pumpkin that does come with them lights up. But this is an awesome set. It's finally, Happy to have this in my collection. It took me a few years. I, I found it for an amazing price and I got it loose. So that's why it took me so long. I was not able, I didn't want to pay over $100 for the set and I got them for under $100, the entire set. It's awesome. I hope NECA, you guys get the license back for the uh, Halloween franchise so we can get some new Michael Myers figures with a um, more better articulation. Now NECA did do several uh, Michael Myers figures. They, they did the one with the... The way he's wearing the blanket over himself like a ghost. Uh, they did the one with, uh, the, um, uh, what was the other one where they had, kind of, it was almost like a set outside of a house. And um, I forgot who was in the set. Uh, the doctor was the doctor was also in there and Michael Myers, but I think that was in another jack-o'-lantern. And then they have like a single card one and there was an 18 inch one also NECA did. But yeah, and then plus the Rob Zombie ones. Do you guys have any NECA Halloween figures? Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite one. And guys, have a happy Halloween. Be safe. We'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace.